Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Winnebago Mini Plus 27 BHSS. They have made some changes aesthetically. Uh, if you take a look at the floor, they've darkened the floor up here. They've also gone to a two-tone wood look, which you can see right over here which I kind of like, it gives you some separation between the kitchen and the entertainment area, but we will see that two-tone look throughout. If you take a look up at the ceiling real quick, you'll also notice uh, that they went to the, the wood strips here rather than just the tape, which again helps break it up, give it a nicer look. Also on the ceiling, you will notice that it is a barreled ceiling in the Mini Plus. That makes it nice and open here. So you have plenty of space, you don't feel closed in and claustrophobic. LED lights running the whole length here. Ducted AC as well, speakers in the ceiling. You also have your King Jack antenna right here for your TV. That way you don't have to worry about cranking it up and down, it's low profile. You can just turn that to find the best signal. Lastly, you will notice there's a skylight right here above the kitchen. That does help bring some natural light into the kitchen during the day here. Speaking of the kitchen, let's take a look. Beautiful L-shaped kitchen, great solid surface countertops. Kind of has uh, some flex in there, a little bit of sparkle, kind of a glitter look. But honestly, I do like it. And again, you know, one of the things they did well here is they have a dark countertop, but really light wood. So they have that contrast. And they kind of keep that theme throughout the entire RV here. You do have the dual sink top covers. If we take those off, that will reveal your double bowl undermount stainless steel sink. You'll see it is a nice modern cut on the sink there, uh, but good usable space there, nice large bowls. You also have the high rise pull out faucet. So this makes it nice and easy to wash and rinse dishes. You'll notice over to the side there, you have an electrical outlet, plenty of space there too. So if you have a coffee maker, toaster, something like that you want in the corner, that's a great spot to put it there. LED lights here so you can see while you're washing dishes, window right over here to let that natural light in during the day. Over to the sides, your recessed three burner cooktop. They do give you the glass top here as well. So again, you can use this for prep space. Notice how this does fold back. That way this kind of doubles as a backsplash here too. Uh, you do have the decorative one back here, but honestly the glass is a little bit easier to clean. But you will notice the three burner cooktop there. And then underneath is your oven in case you want to do some baking. You have good storage all the way throughout on the bottom here. You see this nice deep drawer. Probably a good spot for some of your, uh, you know, your larger skillets. Maybe you can fit you know, a pot or pan or two in there. Right over here, you have a bank of four full extension ball bearing drawers. So plenty of drawer space for your silverware, you know, your larger utensils, like your spatula, serving spoons, things like that. Then you have some additional storage right here underneath the sink. Uh, it's a good spot for some of your cleaning chemicals. You may be able to fit a small trash can in there as well. Certainly not a huge one, uh, but again, you may be able to sneak a small one in there. Going across the top, you'll see they have this decorative glass on there all the way across. Opening this up, good storage space throughout here. They did build a shelf in there, which they should with, you know, having that much space up top. That way you can put, you know, foodstuffs up there, spices. This one does go all the way back in there, so there is plenty of storage right there too. Microwave over here to the side, and then your fully functional hood with a light and a fan. Then rounding out the kitchen right over here is the Dometic fridge freezer combo. You can take a look there, plenty of space cut out here for some taller items. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. And then underneath, I love that they did this. You can take a look right in there, good extra storage space. If you have some of those bigger pots and pans, you know, this is a nice spot to put them. You can just set them in there, you can pull them out nice and easy. Uh, you know, it is a little bit lower, so if you're older, one may be a little bit tougher to get to because you kind of do have to get on your hands and knees to get in there. Uh, but again, it is a big storage space, and I am glad that they at least put it there for you. As we move over a little bit further, we get into the entertainment center. You'll see the nice dark colored wood here, kind of again giving it that separation. TV front and center, which is straight across from the sofa, so you have a great viewing angle. And tied into that is your multimedia center. This unit right here controls your speakers both inside and outside. It's a radio, CD player, and DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, you can pop it in right there. That unit is also Bluetooth capable. Then underneath, you can see some good extra storage. Uh, myself, I would probably use this for pantry just because I bring a ton of food with me when I go camping. You know, generally too much. But, uh, you know, whatever else you want to put in there, you certainly can. This one has a removable shelf here, which I like. So if you want, you can take this shelf out. And if you can see right up top there, they actually have a hanging rod. They have a place to hang some clothes. 
So, you know, I would, again, would probably use this uh, more for jackets. You'll see in a second, they do have a place right here on the side to hang them, but you know, if you have multiple or sweatshirts, or if you just need extra space for your clothes, you can certainly put that in there as well. Uh, or again, if you wanna use it for the kids' clothes, hang up some kids' clothes, that's a great spot to do it. Right over to the side. Right here is your main control panel. It is high enough that if you have smaller kids that are staying with you, they won't be getting in there and messing with your slides or anything. Um, you can see right here your, is your tank monitoring panel there. Everything else is here as well. Uh, notice that your water heater does run off both electric and propane. You can turn both of those on at the same time for higher recovery. Right over here, this is pretty cool. Granted, it's dark in there, but uh, you can see a nice big storage area. There is great storage right there. It's super simple to get to. You have the net here, so you can just kind of reach in there and grab whatever you need. And then directly below that, right here, those uh, kind of robe hooks. And you know, the, the intention here is when you come in, again, you can hang your jackets up right there. There's also a little cubby hole right here underneath where you can store your shoes. So I think this is super handy. You come in, hang up your jackets, kick your shoes off, throw them under there. All that is kind of you know tucked away, it has a place to go. Right here in the rear corner are your two bunks, double over double, 250 pound weight capacity on here, teddy bear bunk series, and look how nice and thick these mattresses are. A lot of times when you're looking at bunk units, the mattresses are about half this thickness and you know, so the kids are basically sleeping on wood. Not the case here, these actually are quite comfortable. You'll see you have a window both on the top as well as the bottom here. Uh, privacy curtains to go across. And then right here, you will actually notice on both sides, it's tucked behind the curtain. You do have an LED light as well as USB ports. And you will have that both on the top and bottom bunk. The reason that's really nice is on that rainy day, you know, it gives, gives the kids kind of a different space. They don't have to be out here where everyone's crowding around wanting to tear each other's hair out. You know, it's a big travel trailer, but having their own space where they can plug in their electronics is definitely uh, a nice thing to have. Right here's your ladder, so that way you can climb up top. Um, you know, this is one of the things that I think are generally undervalued when people are shopping. And the reason I say that is, at least in my experience, it's always the little kids that want to sleep up top. You know, your older kids, they start to become teenagers. They, they want the bottom bunk. They're looking for ease. When they're young and they're small, it's fun to sleep up high, right? They want to be able to climb up here. And when you don't have a ladder, it can be really tough for the kids to jump up into the bunk. So I do like the fact that they put in the ladder here. And again, I know it's a minor thing, but as you're RV shopping, that's definitely something you want to pay attention to. And then right here, you will see this bunk does fold up for extra storage. Uh, it's pretty easy to use. You just have this little latch right here, and that way that will hold it up. This allows you to uh, bring a lot of extra items that normally you wouldn't be able to. You know, you get that extra height here. So if you have some taller items, you can stick them in there. You know, you need a place to, uh, to store the bike. You know, maybe able to sneak a bike in there, something like that. But certainly, you know, a grill or a lot of your extra bedding, things like that. Maybe you have laundry baskets full of clothes. You can sneak them right into there. And then you have the net here as well. That way as you're traveling down the road, everything doesn't come sliding out of there. Right in the back is the bathroom. And again, you'll see, you know, they kind of have the dark wood over here. And again, the light wood, as I said, kind of that contrast. One of the things I always talk about with Winnebago towable units are the doors. They have some of the best interior doors in the industry. And I, again, it sounds silly, but I'm telling you, they shut every time just like they should. You can see there's not a lot of wiggle. You know it's not popping back open on me. It's framed out in actual wood rather than plastic. They're just great functioning doors. When you're out there RV shopping, take a look at some of the doors and you'll see exactly what I mean. Right inside here is again a robe hook so you have a place to uh, hang up clothes or towel. When we come into the bathroom, one of the things you'll notice is, you know, for a bunk unit, this is a nice large rear bathroom. You have plenty of space to be able to walk around in here. Uh, if we actually, actually, let's start right down here on the toilet. So you'll see you have good leg space here too. You know, when I sit down, I have plenty of leg room. I have good shoulder space. I'm fairly broad in the shoulders and I have no issues here. Foot flush lever toilet there as well. Directly up behind that, look at that, a linen closet. Again, that's something that's super nice to have. Um, so if you want to be able to stack towels and stuff in here, you can do that. This one is removable. So if you have some larger items you want to put in there, you can certainly take that one out. But I love the fact they were able to include that linen closet in there. Right here in the corner is your Neo Angle shower. You have the uh, glass roller doors, which I like these doors too. The reason for the, that I like these doors, one is it gives you the, the actual glass door rather than a curtain. The other thing is after you shower, when you open these up, 
the all the water will go down the shower door here and into the drain pan rather than when you have a swinging door then it does the same thing runs down the shower door but then it ends up on your floor so i do like this style of shower i'll step in here kind of give you an idea of height i'm six foot you see i have plenty of room in here especially with this skylight you know if you're six four uh, you can still easily be able to fit in here no problem at all which is great you'll see you have uh, some space some little shelving space right back here for your shampoo and uh, you know soap things like that hand wand right there too for ease of use when we step back out we'll take a look right over to the side nice big countertop look at all this extra space you have over here this is great you need a spot to put down your curling iron your hair dryer you have some extra space here space behind the sink for your toothbrush uh, stainless steel bowl you know so nice quality bowl in here you see you have a hand towel ring so when you're done washing your hands you have a spot which you can dry them electrical outlet there mirrored medicine cabinet with the extra vanity light this that's kind of a big deal too you know uh, this is generally where you'll be getting ready you want to be able to see yourself that certainly helps brighten things up directly up top is your vent fan as well as another led light and then underneath you have some additional storage you see some cubby holes right over to this side here and then right underneath the sink you have more storage yet so we step back out into the main living area you'll see right over here is our large super slide Plenty of windows all the way around to let in a lot of natural light. And both of the side windows on the slide do open. That's important too. You know, if you don't want to run your air conditioner and you want some cross ventilation, you want those windows on the sides of the slide to open. You'll see right here is your sofa. Extremely comfortable, not only to sit on, but also to sleep on. This is what they call a tri-fold sofa. You can see how nice and thick that cushion is there. This is what you get to actually sleep on. So uh, the reason I like the tri-fold is, again, it's, it doesn't take up as much space as your traditional pullout, and it's a lot more comfortable. Your guests aren't gonna have a bar in the middle of their back. They're not gonna have an air mattress that will deflate on them. They will be happy sleeping here. Of course, you don't have to let them know that it folds out if you don't want guests, but uh, again, it is nice to at least have that option. You'll also see on both sides of the slide, you have electrical outlets and dual USB ports. You know, <clears throat> I know that I myself go camping to try to get away from some of the electronics, but it is nice, you know, again, especially with kids, so you can have a spot to plug in their iPad or something on that rainy day. So I do like the fact that more and more manufacturers are recognizing that and putting these in their units. Right over here <clears throat> is the U dinette. You know, the th nice thing about a U dinette is that you can sit the whole family around the table here drops down too. The thing I do like about this style table is it is fully removable. So if you want to take it out, you can do that. And so like, let's say you want to take this out. You just, all you have to do is pull this pin, by the way. It just kind of locks into place right here. So pull this pin. That will allow it to swing down just like so. That's how you'll turn it into a bed. You know, only it'll be sitting right here. Take the back cushions, put it on top. This makes a large bed for the U-Dinette. The other thing I like about this is you can now take this table over to the couch and now you have a coffee table, you know, so you can put your feet up on there if you want, put a beverage on there. And, you know, it, again, it just gives you a little bit extra versatility. So I do like the fact you can uh, pull the table out right there. The bedroom of the 27 BHSS is nice and spacious. You'll see right here you have a nice slider door, kind of a farm or barn style door there. So you're able to slide that shut. Nice big entryway there too. Right here in the bedroom and the center is your residential 60 by 80 queen size bed. So if you're sick of having camper queens where your feet are hanging off, it won't be an issue in here. Also, you do have storage underneath. You'll notice that is strut assisted, so it is quite easy to access that storage. Both sides of the bed, you have mirrored wardrobe space there, an area to hang your clothes. Then right underneath that, you'll see you kind of have a nightstand, uh, electrical outlet, USB port there in case you need to plug some things in. And then right up top here, you see you have good additional storage. Notice that is also strut supported for one hand operation. And again, this is quite deep. You know, a lot of manufacturers don't have near this much storage up top. So I like the fact they extended this out. You'll also notice you have some directional reading lights right here in case you want to read a book at night. And if watching TV is more your speed, that's not a problem. You do have TV connections in here, so you're able to watch a show before bed as well. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at some of the outside features on the Winnebago Mini Plus 27BH. Right up front, here's your power tongue jack, as you would expect on a high-end quality coach. This makes it nice and easy to raise and lower the tongue when you're hooking up or disconnecting from your tow vehicle. You'll also see there is a light on here for a little extra visibility at night. 
Directly behind that, you have your propane tank cover with two 30-pound propane tanks. That way, if you're you know, out and about, you're camping, you need some extra heat, you're going to stay out for an extended period of time, you have the extra propane that you can use there. You see coming up the front, you have the black diamond plating to help protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris to get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And then in between the diamond plate here and your propane tank cover is where your battery would be located. Then take a look at the front cap here. Beautiful front cap. I like the fact that the white kind of helps break up the look a little bit. Uh, you also have LED light strips here to give it that extra aesthetic at night. The frame itself is a BAL Huckbolt frame. Huckbolt frames are really nice. They have a couple of advantages over your standard welded one. One is the fact the number one place that your frame generally starts to rust at is right at that welded seam. So by eliminating that welded seam, you help reduce the chance for the rust to begin there. Also, if you ever do have any damage, it's a lot easier to replace a huck bolt, a lot easier to fix it, meaning less money for you. One of the really unique things about the Mini Plus, though, is not the fact it's a huck bolt frame, but the fact it is a drop frame construction. This is something you often see in high-end fifth wheels, but you just don't see it in the travel trailer world, and it's great. You know, your main I-beam runs right through here. You'll see they drop it and then have the rest of it running right here. And what that does for you is gives you this massive pass-through storage here. You can see how big that is, how tall this is right here. Again, you don't get that big of a pass-through in most travel trailers. You can fit a ton of stuff in here. You'll also notice the aluminum structure running through, and you have an LED light going all the way across there in case you need to get in there at night. Another thing you probably did see is you have a propane quick connect right back there, or right up here. You'll have another one in the back too. So you have two quick connects on here, a couple different options of where you can cook out at. If we take a look right over here, this is uh, pretty neat too. This one is uh, equipped with power jacks, but the neat thing about this is you have two jack controls for the front and two for the back. Most manufacturers will give you one control for the, the two front ones, one control for the two rear, but this gives you a lot more control over those stabilization jacks. Right over here is your potable water fill, your gravity fill. So if you're filling up your fresh water tank, uh, that is one of the places you can do it right there. Take a look up top, nice big power awning on here, huge power awning. Touch a button to roll that out, same thing to have it go right back in. Uh, gives you a lot of great camping space right in here. And one of the things that are really neat that you will see is you have TV hookup. If you're gonna hook up a TV, this is where you want it, it's right underneath that awning. They already put a backer in the wall here so you know exactly where to mount it. Cable outlet, electrical outlet right there too. Also, uh, right in between kind of the awning here and uh, the TV are your two outside speakers. Those are controlled by your multimedia center inside, but as I had mentioned, that unit is Bluetooth capable, so you can sit out here, connect to it via Bluetooth, and still be able to control it. The wheels here are aluminum alloy wheels, so that way they won't rust on you. They help prevent corrosion, nitrogen-filled tires too, so they should hold that pressure for a longer period of time. That's something that's very important when you're out there camping, folks. You want to make sure you're always checking your tire pressures before each and every trip. Safety is definitely uh, should be at the forefront. One of the things, again, you always want to think about. Getting into the RV is super simple. You have three aluminum steps. Uh, the great thing, again, about aluminum is the fact it doesn't rust. So these steps will stay looking nice. You have the rubber grip strips on there, too. So that way, if it's raining like it did last night, you know I'm not going to slip. I can still get some decent grip here. And you have the foldable grab handle here as well for that extra control when entering or exiting the RV. One of the things you weren't able to see down below, this one does have the extreme weather package. So if you are camping in the colder climates, you don't have to worry about anything freezing up on you, which is a pretty big deal. Right here is your outside kitchen. You have the nice little mini fridge here. So if you need to you know, put some beverages out here or condiments, that's a place you can do it. Light right here, so you have you know, a little bit extra light at night. You can put plates in here, cups, whatever else. And right here, you have a two burner cooktop. And as I had mentioned, there is a second propane uh, quick connect underneath. It's intended for the, this cooktop here, but again, if you want to set your grill up back here, you can certainly do that too. And then for water access, you have your spray port located there. Again, as I mentioned up front, you have the two controls for two stabilizers up there. Right there, your two controls for the rear one. We come around to the back side. 
right here is the Atwood water heater. I'll open this up for you. One of the things I do want to note is that this is a 10 gallon water heater, folks. That's a huge deal to have on a travel trailer. Most of the time on a travel trailer, you're really lucky to have a six, or I should say the six is a lot more common. Uh, you know, on a fifth wheel, you're lucky to get a 10 on a lot of the fifth wheels. So the fact it has a 10 gallon water heater in there is a big deal. You'll also see you have the rear mounted ladder that we can climb up onto the roof. It is a fully walkable roof. That will let you get up there for any kind of maintenance. Right back here is detachable power cord, 30 amp plug in there. Spare tire mounted on the bumper as well, and it does have the cover. Uh, that way, you know, it, uh, it's easy to get to, right? If it's mounted on the bumper here, plus the cover will make sure it stays in good shape. So we come right around to the side here. You'll notice right down below is your termination. You see the gray and black valve there. You'll also see right over here is your black tank flush. That way you don't have to drag a hose inside, stick it down a toilet. You can hook it up right here. That black tank will have sprayers built in and it will wash that black tank out for you. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Winnebago Mini Plus 27 BHSS. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, just click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker and let's go camping.